This is silky dogwood. This right here, that's silky. This is silky dogwood, and this right here is a, a lot of silky dogwood. Silky dogwood likes to grow in wet spots. Same as all of them. You'll tend to see them growing together. So dogwood, it's opposite. It's gonna have nice dogwood venation, right? You know, with, with arcuate venation. So, oh, hey, I got a dogwood. Versus throwing it on the ground. <laughs> the other good feature, so now you know it's a dogwood, right? Red stems, then you're like, silky. So what's silky? The twig is silky. It gets gray, uh, but you'll see it's red and there's a lot of gray, silky fuzz on it. That's the silky part on the silky dogwood. You can rub the fuzz off pretty easy, and then it'll just be red on your ear. But that's where the end is. Now the fruit and flower, not like our other dogwood. Uh, it is a bit like the alternate leaf dogwood. Does anybody remember the description of flowers on alternate leaf dogwood? No, not the flower, right? But th they're a clump of a many, many little flowers. That's what this has too. So then it forms a big clump of berries. That's what this forms too. And the cool thing about this one, the fruit, they're blue and white. They like look like blue cheese. Some will be blue, one will be white, one will be white on one side, blue on the other side. The pith, which I don't know if you really would need to get to the pith, because you have got a twig. It's red, it's opposite, it's got gray silk. But the pith is salmon colored. Like the, uh, well, like what? Kentucky coffee. Now that had a giant pit, like this, like salmon meat. This is, that's a meat. There's a skinny little twig, so the pit's going to be, that's an alder you're going to draw. Uh, it's going to have a pretty little pit. And again, if you've got a twig in your hand, you probably should know it already, but that might help. Kind of a reddish brown color.